Hi, this is Yvonne Galusha, and I made a little video to help you out in getting started with your Java programming in business programming class. So the, I haven't gone over this in class, so I thought this might be helpful, um, and I wanted to just go over a few things. We have gone over bringing up a command prompt. It may be a little different depending on your operating system and computer. I'm running Windows 7 here, so I'm typing CMD. You might have to type the word command but you're going to get something like this to come up. Now, notice on mine, I can't make it wider, and that's a bit of a nuisance, and it, you might find this to be the case on your computer. So if you come up here to the title bar area, right click and choose defaults, and then layout, you can change this. So on your window size, I, I'm going to make mine something like that at least. I just wanted mostly to uh, go over this and you can increase the height that it opens up as well. So I say OK and if you're going to get rid of this and bring it up again next time it should open up larger I think. So that was one thing I wanted to talk about just how to set some of those things. The other thing I thought I'd show you is what you're doing is you're working in what's called an interpreter that in essence looks and mimics what it's like a DOS command prompt. DOS was the predecessor to the Windows operating system before there was the uh, GUI look and feel graphical user interface. And so if you want to know what the commands are, just type help and it's going to display them all for you and you can of course scroll up and down and look at them that might be a little more than you need the ones you mostly are going to need are things like dir directory and that shows you the contents of your folders or perhaps you need to move down into a folder and that's going to be the command cd before i get too far afield into that however i want to point out some things you you should have already set your path variable um, to be sure that wherever you're at, no matter what folder or directory, those are two words meaning the same thing, that you can always get to the Java compiler. So I have a separate video that you can get help or come see me or Matt if you're having trouble on your own computer. On school computers in the lab, they've already got that path variable set, so that part works. So what you want to do is get an organization technique for how and where you're going to keep your code so that when you drop down into this command prompt, you can easily find it to compile, etc. So notice by default I'm coming up where I'm logged in as users and then Ygalusha is how I log on to this computer. And so what we want to do is flip over to Windows Explorer get there in just a minute and we want to create a place to keep our Java code and so if you come here to C colon users that's where it defaults and then of course whatever you log in as in my case Ygalusha so if you're working on your own computer I would come to this location Ygalusha under users and I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call this business programming. Oopsie, I didn't quite type that correctly. Let me fix that. And the other thing I want to do so that I don't have to always navigate down this tree to where that's at is I'm going to put this as a library. So I'm going to right click here and then where it says include in library I'm going to say create new library. So what that did was it made a reference to that folder right here under my libraries. Now, I also navigate down into that business programming. Let's say I want to work on my pre-lab one. So create a folder for that. You get the idea here. Or a new folder for homework one. So then it'll be easy to find your code if you can't remember the name when you're down in that command prompt. Furthermore, it's going to be referenced, see, right underneath these libraries. So 
so it makes it right at top easy to find. When you're in Notepad, for example, and you're typing something for the first time, to make, I'm going to just open something that already exists. I had recently had put something on my desktop, and it was that little welcome thing. So say you just type this, and now you're needing to save it. So if I do Save As, you see Libraries comes up right here and then I can easily get to my business programming. This is not a lab, either one of those, so I'll just save it as my welcome Java. Now, back to this command prompt. So here we are. We're in this. I opened up my command window, and I need to get to where I want the, the, the work. So if I do change directory, and then I just need to type that, business programming. You see, then I can do a DIR and it's going to display what files I have or folders. So you can see here the homework and prelab folders, their directories or folders, and these are just standard part of DOS where it's so you can ignore these dot dot dot. And then the files are listed after the directory, so here you can see the welcome one Java. So now I'm ready. I can compile it because I set my compiler to be located no matter where I'm at, no matter what folder. So now I can just do welcome1.java. So it's compiling. It takes a little moment here. And I didn't get any errors. So now I can load, execute, verify, etc. So and we're just going to get a message to display, welcome one. Now notice if I type this, running the compiler again, and I hit enter. You see that error message? It's kind of strange looking error message. Do you get that because it's specifically wanting you to have that file annotation of .java when you run the compiler. So that is my help. I hope this will help you out in getting started and your work in Java.